Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the fifth Open Classroom Civil Designer Software webinar. I trust everyone is safe and well. Once again, apologies for the technical issues we experienced on Friday. Trust me, I aged a quick 10 years. Learning that live broadcasting is like golf. As soon as you think you're in control of your game, you quickly get taught a lesson. Anyway, today is Tuesday, which is Survey and Terrain Day, and Andrew will be your Civil Designer Software driver. And that was not an intended golf analogy. As always, please feel free to use the text uh, chat services on your GoToWebinar floating dialog to ask us any questions you may have during Andrew's presentation. So without further delay, Andrew, please take it away. Good day to everyone. In today's Survey and Terrain webinar, we'll be having a look at the terrain strings design functionality. So this is a way of designing your platforms and it's got some very versatile and powerful um, functionality built into it. So the strings is in the terrain module. You can see under the pull down menu, you can create your string in various ways and then you can also modify and edit the string. Um, so you can still use the traditional um, platform design, but the strings is a lot more versatile and more dynamic. So I'm just going to switch off this existing project that I'm working with has got some height shading activated. The height shading just uses 64 different colors to shade your whole site view or designated area. So I'm just switching on the standard um, surface shading for now. Okay, so and then maybe just toggle the contours off as well just on the display toolbar so for this particular exercise um, i'm going to be designing a string at this um, earth over here so i'm just going to draw in a parallel line from the existing earth boundary at a five meter offset and i'm trimming that line neatly so I just have to click on the correct side of that earth boundary this is going to be the position for my platform you always have to be careful that you click on the correct side and closest to the line so I'll zoom in a bit there that you want to offset from okay and then I'll just have to manually trim the start and end points. So just these are just standard CAD functions that I'm using. So modify trim and trimming those two lines to meet neatly. Okay, so next up I'd like to use a polyline to define this terrain string. So I'm just going to convert these existing lines that I just drew in to a polyline using the line to polyline function. And yes, I can delete those existing CAD lines. Okay, and then I'm changing to the terrain application to design the string. Just before I start with the terrain string, I just want to show you this graphical elevation tracking. Um, you can interpolate levels or view levels on any surface for a design surface and a terra surface and then we've added a few a new functions there inserting a DTM point adding text to your drawing and then outputting that information to the output bar so I'm just going to show you if you look up at the top left there there's the elevation as you move your cursor over those surfaces I'm just checking the road sort of levels um, from the bottom there up to the top here so right in the middle of here I'm going to insert a level Okay, so that's the adding of the text to your drawing. You can also do that um, with this new graphical annotate elevation, which pretty much does the same thing. Okay, so I'm just inserting these levels just to give you an idea of what um, level to use for my platform top. Um, you can also use that... Um, graphical pull down menu to annotate a slope. All right, so next up, I'm actually gonna go define my string. So it's the pull down menu, strings pull down. You can define your string in various ways, graphically by selecting individual entities 
or from DTM um, break lines or points and then in this case I'm using the polyline that I've just created so a string from polyline it'll prompt me to select the polyline and I'm just going to leave it as string 1 in this case okay and then the elevation that I'm going to use is 1366 I think just to give it a slightly higher level than the road um, to the top side so different ways of setting up for height um, you can do interpolate from a surface as well and you can also set your chainage interval for the arcs if you haven't got an arc in your perimeter I get an option to define another polyline but I'm not going to use that in this case so just right click and quit okay so I've just selected my string and just verifying that it is now a terrain string at the correct Z value so that one three double six elevation that I assigned to the string and then we're going to go create the banks for our platform so it's string creation create child and then always important to click on the correct side you get prompted for which side so you can go to the inside or the outside uh, or both but initially only obviously one side so I'm clicking on the outside just to create my banks for this uh, particular platform okay so the operation type um, selection you've got a grade with a horizontal and a vertical offset you've got grade to surface vertical horizontal offsets and then horizontal offset to elevation or grade to an elevation so in this case I'm going to use the grade to surface just to create a normal bank for my platform so grade to surface specify your surface to grade down to and then your cut and full slopes so I'm just initially going to use one in three for my cut and my full and I want to include the strings model so any existing terrain strings or a road string would be taken into consideration and there it is um, your child string has been created I'm just going to switch on my banks in the properties bar and then just clear so you can see the cut and full areas so up top here we've got quite a bit of cut and then down towards the other side we've got a bit of full so remember your short bank lines always on the higher side okay so next up what I want to do is just show you the the render view but I just want to change some of my settings here just to make it a little bit clearer how the road and the terrain string platform interact so I'm just switching off some shading so we can clearly see the the platform with the banks and then the road with the banks okay so I'm just right clicking and doing a render view and then I'm going to zoom in so that bank now has taken into consideration the road that is running behind the the platform so when it um, intersected with the ground at that one in three slope it looked at the the DTM and then where the road was it's actually intersected with the road as well so you can see that lines tying in neatly that bank line is tying into the actual road bank line as well okay so that is my render view I'm just going to quit and escape okay so next up I actually want to go and edit and change the bank slopes down at this bottom portion on the left edge um, that bank slope is overlapping our road a little bit too far so I'm using the range editing function so it's strings range editing range edit so you can in edit individual vertices but in this case I'm doing a range of vertices so you select your first point your first vertex and then I'm just looking for where the bank lines that toe line is acceptable you've got a closed string so you've got two options so I'm selecting the first one highlighted in yellow 
and I'm just changing the slopes to one in two. I could probably have just done the cut because most of this area is in cut. And that is the beauty of the um, terrain strings is you can make changes to a range of vertices um, and you can have multiple strings for example in a terrace multiple terraces and for each terrace string you could then make a change to the relationship to the previous string okay just also just to have a look at those changes i'm just going to do the view direction changing into a southwest isometric or the view axis toolbar and you can see now that revised toe line is also tying in nicely with the the road banks as well the integration between the road and the terrain strings. Okay, I'm just deleting those two previous levels um, so that we can insert using that graphical annotate elevation function. I'm just going to put in our new level using that strings platform to track the actual elevation. Okay, then just to show you the versatility of these terrain strings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in uh, with our CAD drawing functionality, just a normal rectangle, which in essence is a polyline, just to quickly design another string. So I'm just taking this rectangle, I'm just going to rotate it um, side on to the initial platform. Okay, so I'm going to design a new strings platform, string creation, string from polyline. And firstly, what I'll do is I'll just interpolate on a surface and I want to add intermediate draped vertices on the break lines and then also use the strings model, so the existing terrain string, to height this um, new string of ours. Okay, and if I select that string now, I'm showing you I can select it graphically because the CAD line is still below there. So I just wanted to make sure I selected the the actual string, the terrain string. So I'm just going to look at the render view again just to show you how that um, interpolate. So we wanted to interpolate it from the surface and then also include the new terrain string um, platform. You can see it's draped it on the DTM surface on the right side, but on the left there it has actually done the interpolation. Okay, so I'm just deleting that previous string and then I'm going to create a new string at a different height. So string creation once again from polyline, we've still got the rectangle. And this one I'm going to do at a fixed height, just make it a bit higher, 1368 than our initial platform. And this time I can actually delete the, the rectangle. Okay, and then maybe just to verify again, the elevation is that 1368, and it is in fact the terrain string that we're looking at. And then string creation, I'm going to do the banks, so create child on which side again, remember that's important. So initially we want to put the banks on the outside, and the operation type that we're going to use is grade to surface, um, including the, the strings model. Okay, just that one in two slope. And then maybe just to switch on my banks as well in the properties bar. You can also do that in the display settings if you need to. Okay, and then just a quick look at the render view again, just to verify that it has in fact draped it on the terrain surface and then on our new terrain string surface as well. So you can see that there's definitely a difference where it's climbed up that bank onto the new terrain string um, elevation. Okay, so you can see there's good integration between the different terrain strings and with the terrain strings and the roads. And then just also to show you um, if you go and if I click and drag my platform, my terrain string platform, 
then the banks would then automatically be recalculated. Um, if I rotate that as well, it should recalculate the bank slopes based on the new position as well. Okay, just clear selection. Maybe just drag it slightly into position over here. Yeah, that's fine. So just finally, I want to look at the render view. Um, but I've just basically covered the basics of these terrain strings. As you can see, they're, they're very powerful design tools. And we can look at these in, in more detail in our next event terrain webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. And thank you to all who attended today. Uh, for those of you using our free lockdown work from home versions of Civil Designer and AliCAD, please note that the initial 30 day licenses will be expiring soon. To renew these licenses, please click on the yellow or work from home button on the civildesigner.com website homepage and follow the instructions at the bottom of the trial and work from home version page. Once again, thank you to all who attended. See you tomorrow at the same time and same place using the same link for our weekly Rhodes class. Thank you and goodbye.